Now, over the last week, we have told you story after story about people being dive bombed by spotted lanternflies, even maybe you at home. Yeah, you know, a lot of folks at PNC Park for the ball games mm -hmm. were reporting this. Businesses all over the, and a lot of people at home as well. They're clinging to walls, they're crawling around doors, and bluntly, it's aggravating. Sitting or crawling, the spotted lanternfly is ready to launch in an instant. They're elusive and fast. The first string method is to use mechanical methods, and we talk about swatting them and stomping them. But they are so fast you may miss, and there could be too many. So Penn State Extension lanternfly expert Emily Swackhammer says, listen to this. You can suck them up into a vacuum cleaner and then just leave them sit for a couple days. They'll die in there and then you can dispose of them. While they're certainly harmless to us, they can hurt vegetation and they're a nuisance. I've talked to people that, you know, really couldn't sit out and enjoy their outdoor area because of it. The Internet is full of remedies that Swackhammer really doesn't like, like spraying them with vinegar because it can harm your plants. Vinegar has herbicidal properties, but it's not labeled for use that way. So it's really not a good idea. Or putting out a bowl of dish soap and water. You'll kill fewer lanternflies than if you'd spend the same amount of time out in your landscape with a fly swatter. Swack Hammer says if you want to spray, use the least toxic insecticide. Instead, use things that are registered insecticides and things like insecticidal soap, horticultural spray oil, neem oil. Now you could use a hose to get them off of your wall or your plant, but you better be ready with a quick foot. Just water alone isn't going to kill them, but if you knock them down and then mechanically kill them, you know, that can work. Actually with my hand. I, I oh yeah, it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I love how she says mechanically kill them. That's a nice way of saying stomp on them. Right, right. Yeah, but you know what? You also could just wait them out because they're going to be gone here in a couple of weeks. Okay. But if you do wait them out, they're going to lay their eggs, and then you're going to have an even bigger problem next year. Oh, now, are these things trying to get into our homes like those nasty stink bugs do? Because when you kill those, they just reek. Now, Swackhammer says they don't want to get into your home. They're not looking for a place to overwinter. They're just looking for a place to lay their eggs and then they die. Oh. Penn State has a handy list of the stuff you can buy to spray on them. And we've got a link for you from our web story that'll give you the list to look for at your garden store, everything that you need. I like how you said use your vacuum. Yeah, I was holding them yesterday. There was one that got in my hand. He didn't want to leave. He just mm. kept crawling Did all over him? the place. No, mm. I should have.